Joining us now in the studio is Socrates Lazaridis. He is chairman and CEO of the Athens Stock Exchange. Great to have you on the show. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you very much. So you're expecting to benefit from the government's asset sales, expected to raise some, some 50 billion euros, of course. Is it a little frustrating or are you getting somewhat impatient that the process has been slow, that nothing has actually been sold yet and there isn't even a deadline for the first assets to be sold? Yes, uh, but uh, you must have in mind the better preparation a privatization scheme has, uh, the better uh, it uh, will approach the markets and thus uh, we are happy that uh, we are about to start on these issues. Okay, so how do you expect those asset sales to be handled and what impact will it have on the wider Greek market? At least for our stock exchange, it will have a direct and indirect effect. The direct effect comes out from those companies that they will that are already listed in the stock market, and they will be privatized through through the market. Also, we are anticipating that um, some other assets they will come also through the market with IPOs, and of course, the indirect effect is um, by any kind of privatization that helps the growth of the economy. Okay. Because so nobody invests in, the, in a market without having a further investment uh, approach. So, from what you're saying, you're expecting strong investor interest. You don't think this could be a fire sale? Of course, what we are seeing while we are making our road shows around the world, and you know that we were these two days in London for a road show when we were 15 days before in the US in another road show, we see that it is a, a huge investor appetite uh, starting from the privatization angle. Do you think there is a risk, though, that the government may not be able to get the, bre the best price it can get in this sort of economic environment of, of heightened uncertainty. Okay, this is a dilemma that you can see it in another view. Uh, instead of subsidizing the growth of the economy, if you give the opportunity for private investors to invest in your country, you are getting the same benefits. Okay. So what if Greece had to restructure its debt? You know, talks are ongoing about a possible voluntary restructuring. What could be done to limit the impact on stocks in that circumstance? Well, about this issue, as a Greek citizen, but also as part of the investment community, I strongly believe that it is very unproductive, this discussion of the restructuring uh, of debt. Uh, what we have now is a negotiation for the second bailout program and a preparation of a concrete uh, short, medium-term plan for going back to the markets. Okay. But when we look at what's been happening in the markets, I suppose, you know, concerns about a default about restructuring, you're saying it might not be constructive, but I suppose the risk can't be ignored. Um, yeah, that's, that's why I'm mentioning that yeah, as far yeah. as, you, as you are, we are discussing it, mm. we are not, uh, uh, let's say, prevailing the market from this uh, threat, while the main discussion that we have now is a, a second bailout program mm. and a concrete plan uh, for, uh, for of the part of the government in order to resolve yeah. the problem. And we have, at least on our point of view, we have to work to finalize the negotiations and to work on this program in order to have a successful uh, return. Yes, but because of the uncertainty right now over when Greece might get a second bailout over the... the the emergency loans with, with, um, with George Papandreou. I, I won't ask you to comment on any of that specifically, but uh, what I'm saying is that I suppose some investors right now would question the, the wisdom of, of putting money into Greek stocks. Correctly. They are waiting to see the two issues, the two, how they will, we will come out with the two issues that I've uh, mentioned. The one is the, the exact bailout, the second bailout program, and then the, the steps that the government will take and will announce, the concrete steps that it will take and will, will announce. On the other hand, in our part, we have, after the, this uh, finalization, we have to work strongly and hardly to implement these uh, issues. Yeah, do you think it will be then, difficult then, implementing uh, austerity measures? Do you, do you foresee obstacles in that? I'm, conf I'm confident that in a situation that we are now, we are able to do everything needed in order to, to have a successful end.
And just a quick one, foreign investors we were saying have actually increased their holdings of stocks listed uh, on the ASC, on the Greek Stock Exchange. What are investors saying to you? What are their questions? What are, what are their concerns right now? What sort of questions are they asking? Well, first of all, as I've mentioned, everybody is waiting to see the concrete plan in order to uh, evaluate where and, and when to invest. It's clear, the, the clear vision that uh, the international investment community has is that there are opportunities in the Greek market and they want to hear uh, the next steps, a, con a, concrete, a, co a concrete plan for yes. next steps. Yeah, before, before they actually yeah. invest. So Start they're watching, on. obviously, uh, very closely. But, so, yeah. but I have to mention that still we didn't lost any uh, investor from our market. Fift it was around 50%. Now it is 51%. The participation uh, in the Greek market of the in foreign investors, as you have mentioned, and also the liquidity is sustainable at this point of time, at, le at least the last year in the Greek market, as compared to uh, previous years. Of course, prices are very low, but liquidity in terms of uh, velocity is uh, sustainable.